I've not put Sora in my list this time. I, I go back on what I said in the last predictions. It'd be weird having Disney characters in a Smash Brothers game where it's celebrating video games. Hello and welcome to another current conversation video for Project Falcon Punch. I am your host Dan and Alex is with me today. Alex, are you happy? What do you think I am? I have no words to describe this. Yeah, so in case anyone's not aware that's watching this, if you've watched any of our previous Smash Brothers prediction videos or just know Alex in general, he's a pretty big Kingdom Hearts fan and has been wanting Sora in Smash, well, y literal years at this point. Years? Years of doubt, everyone said he would never make it in, but I didn't lose hope, and by god he's in, and I just broke big time when I saw it, like, Jesus, like, we, we, but we gotta talk about this, we seriously do. Yes, because, as you're aware, Alex, I'm, I'm not a Kingdom Hearts guy, but, because I've said to you I, over Twitter recently, like, Alex, it's not happening, I'm sorry to break it to you, but I can't see Sora happening, and you're like, oh, yeah, I know, it probably won't, but, like, that's the, like, you were tweeting so much about Sora in Smash recently. I was, I was so nervous. <laughs> so was, you know, I, I just thought, oh, I do, I do not want your heart to be broken that it's not going to be Sora because I was convinced it was not going to happen at all, like ever, because of the whole like Disney copyright stuff and like, does it make any sense? Because if you bring Sora in, is there going to be Donald and Goofy? And uh, obviously they're not doing that. But I'll ask you, Alex, because I'll tell you my thoughts on where was your mind going when the initial trailer started happening and it harks back to the first Smash Brothers reveal trailer of Inkling looking up at the, the Smash Brothers logo fire. That was the first one yeah. of Ultimate and now it ends with that and then like, so yeah, so where, where was your mind going when you when you saw that? I didn't watch this live. I had to do my shift during work and thankfully I didn't get spoiled. Mm -hmm. But when I was at work, in my head, I was actually thinking what if they tie it back to the first reveal with the Inkling looking up and I was like, wow, I was like kind of dead on. So I saw the Inklings looking up, then I saw them turning the trophy I was like, wait a minute, is this taboo or something? You know, taboo for ball yep. uh, because he turned everyone into trophies. So then uh, Mario came out the trophy and then it saw a fire, like a flame on the floor. And I was like, wait a minute, if Sakurai said anyone who doesn't play the game should watch this, does he mean Ring Fit Adventure Trainer? Because, uh, you know. <laughs> what a way to finish it if that actually was the case. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. So I was like, is this Ring Fit? So then Mario just held it in his hand. He threw it. It's like, oh, okay, it's not. So he throws it. The very second I saw Ring his head my brain waves just shot up from like very low to imploding after years of people saying this would never happen and doubts coming in and it was the most satisfying feeling in the world to see it right before my own eyes i was like no no it can't be this is not real i'm, I'm actually dreaming and then <laughs> it was actually so and i was just like in literal tears when it happened because i don't think a smash bros reveal has ever got me in tears like this but it literally did Right. Badger came close, but okay, I'll leave you to him because I've said enough. No, you're fine. It's, this is your floor because this is your stage. You've been going on about wanting Sora for so long. I've been indifferent towards having the. I don't, you know, I'm happy, obviously, for you. I just want to. I'm not even saying that like sarcastically. <laughs> yes. I genuinely am so happy for you because that was. Or, you know, when I noticed that it was the Keyblade, I was like, oh shit, Alex is going to <laughs> flip out so hard. <laughs> Also, if people aren't aware, they might have seen a previous video on this channel that like did a little dumb video because I tweeted to Alex saying, dude, it's not happening. Sora's not going to be in Smash. But if he is, I will stream all of Kingdom Hearts because I've only played br brief bits. So yeah, I've completely screwed myself over now because I now have to play <laughs> yes. through all of the Kingdom Hearts games. I will never let you live it down until you stream all of them. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> oh, but if it makes you feel better, I'll play the No More Heroes series still. Yeah, that was the bet was if, if Sora wasn't in Smash, you're gonna play through No More Heroes, uh, which yeah, like if you still want to do that, because those are great games, and there's only four of them, where there's like a fucking shit ton of Kingdom Hearts. I wanted to do those anyway, but like yeah. you know, but it's just like Good excuse. I can't think of a better character to end off than Sora because Sora crosses over with Disney, and he's like a crossover franchise in general, and Smash is the biggest crossover in yeah. gaming. So as Sakurai references in the presentation, apparently was he the winner of the Smash ballot way back in Smash Wii U? Yeah. Which, um, whether or not like this was the case, but the initial thing was, oh, Bayonetta was the winner, but Reedy is actually Sora, but I'm guessing they just couldn't get Sora at the time, or they didn't even want to attempt to try and get Sora, and probably thought, ah, Bayonetta's gonna be a bit easier to get hold of than Sora. Mm. I imagine that it was, as Sora, it, as Sora, as Sakurai even said, it was incredibly, like, difficult. It was the hardest one to, like, negotiate with, which I'm not surprised, because, you know, Disney. And the fact that we got a Square Enix character in the same pass yes. with Sephiroth, that made it even more unlikely 
Wikipedia. And it's also worth noting that when Bayonetta got revealed uh, for the final DLC in Smash Wii U, they said that she was the number one mm -hmm. of realizable characters. Yeah. So maybe Sora wasn't at the time, but maybe years later, they managed to find a way to get him in. Like Donald and Goofy are nowhere to be seen in it. It's just the Kingdom Hearts characters. Yes. And I was fully expecting that because if Sora did make it in, they couldn't implement Donald and Goofy. And I was right uh, because, mm -hmm. you know, they're not in, but Sora's a video game character. So that's why I didn't lose hope on him. When that trailer started and it was like, yeah, harken back to the opening, I actually thought it was going to be Master Hand. Oh. I was convinced because of the flame part and cuts to like Mario's glove and it really zooms in on his glove. And I thought, oh, it's going to like, you know, the premise of Smash Brothers is that they're little, they're little figures that a hand is playing with, like you know, at the toy box. That's how the first Smash Brothers starts. And obviously Master Hand yeah. is the boss and it's like, it, the whole idea is it's a, it's a, a person playing with these with these figures. That's like the lore of Smash and the reason why all these characters all come together. And I thought, oh, they're just going to have Master Hand as a character. That would be kind of cool, but at the same time, a bit disappointing to end on, even though it would make sense that this is the last character ever, that it's the first character or the first thing you ever see in Smash Brothers. Like the, the opening of Smash 64 is the hand. How cool would it be to finish it off with the hand? But having said that, yeah, obviously Sora is way more hype than Master Hand to have as the final character. I didn't think it was going to be Master Hand because Smash Bros. is about crossovers. If you ask someone who doesn't play Smash Bros., how do you feel about this final character being Master Hand? It's like, who's Master Hand? Mm. Well, what's going to get you more hype? Sora and Smash or Master Hand and Smash to someone who's not played Smash Bros.? Mm -hmm. I'm guessing it's, you know, Sora. And to be honest, like I say, I'm not a Kingdom Hearts fan, but when the Kingdom Hearts music started to swirl around as Sora was, you know, soaring through, no pun intended, uh, like <laughs> all the characters, and, that, you know, the, the music was swelling up, and it was like, wow, like, I got goosebumps. Like, the Kingdom Hearts music is iconic, really. It, it, it ingrained in my brain, even though I don't really play the series. And, yeah, like, I, I thought that that was pretty fucking cool. They managed to get the Mickey Mouse logo on the Keyblade, yes. you know, despite that, which was surprising. Yeah, that is surprising, because, like, I I didn't think that they would... There's no reference to, the, you know, the stage doesn't have Mickey and Goofy in the background, which makes sense. But, yeah, to have the Mickey Mouse keychain is like, okay, well, this is, this is like, one step close to, like, actually having just straight-up Disney characters in the next Smash Brothers. Like, oh, just straight-up Goku in Smash Bros. Oh, no, get that Goku away from my Smash Brothers. I haven't put Goku in any of my wish lists, so don't, don't worry, Dad. If it ever happens, I won't go insane. <laughs> <laughs> I guess one last thing before we go into the next part of this video, which is talking about our predictions results. The the Mii Fighter costumes, it's two Splatoon characters and then Doom Slayer, which I had no expectation that Doom Slayer was going to be a character. Mm. So to have him in the game as a Mii costume, Costume. You know, it's Bethesda again. You know, they did the Fallout, they did Skyrim. It makes sense that they were going to do Doom as well. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm actually really chuffed. I'm definitely going to download this Mii Fighter costume. It was substantially less Mii Fighters than I was expecting. Yes, like, only three. Yeah, I was expecting them to do st something like, oh yeah, here's a Crash Mii Fighter costume. Oh yeah, here's this Sora Mii Fighter costume. Or, you know, like all the characters we all want the most. Like, I was expecting to go down that route. But no, it's just the Doom guy. And the Doom guy is one I've seen people want a lot. And I know a friend who wants Doom guy a lot and uh, I can imagine he's super super chuffed you know that, that he's even in the game at all. In fact uh, another friend of mine said he wasn't expecting Doom guy because the guns are realistic and yeah. they just barely got away with it with Joker but it didn't stop it from appearing as a me costume so well there's that. I couldn't imagine his final smash being the rip and tear of like just ripping people to shreds that wouldn't quite work <laughs> with smash. Yeah if you like um, Scorpion in Smash Bros it just wouldn't work when it's not the kind of count he put into a Smash Bros game. Yeah yeah, yeah, you're right. So and I think we'll move on now to our predictions results. So if anyone's not aware, when they first announced the DLC pack 2, Alex and I did a predictions video. At the time, it was Min Min had been announced, and that was like, oh, and here's the next, be five more characters after Min Min. So we did a guess of the next five characters. And Alex's were Rex and Pyra, Rayman, Lloyd from Tales of Symphonia, Sora, and Gino. Now, out of that list, you got two I'm going to give you one and a half, but maybe you give you two on that. Hey, two. <laughs> uh, I'm not going for technicality here. Eh, Rex and Pyra. It's Pyra and Mifra. And you're all right. I'll give that to you. Fine to you. Only because... Yeah, Sakurai wanted Vex, but yeah. technical limitation stopped it. So, you know, it's still flat. So, yeah. So, yeah. I mean, that was a spot on pick. Kind of. <laughs> okay. I, um, I agree. Kind of a spot on pick. So, number two. Uh, Rayman. Yes. Mm, he's trapped as a spirit still. Yeah. Still as a spirit. Shame that he's not in. 
I mean, I'd love to have seen him in, you know, like um, as the Rayman Legends moveset. Yeah. But after this final reveal, I'll I can live, you know, if it means Solver made it in. Yeah, it's a shame that he's not even like any more than what it was in Smash uh, Four. You know, he was a, at least a trophy in that game. So I was the fact that I got my two most wanted characters in Smash Bros. ever to be in. I'm just like I will never request another character again. I'm just happy with what I'm given, you know. So then you had Lloyd from Tales of Symphonia. Yeah, not not a bad mm, pick. Yeah, like I thought this was gonna happen because we didn't get our Namco rep whatsoever after Pac-Man, but it turns out it was Kazuya from Tekken, so that kind of shot that down. If I was to really, like, think about it, like, Namco were to introduce another character, what would it be? It's like, Tekken, like, other than Pac-Man, that's like their biggest franchise, so of course, of course it should be Tekken. It's because the fact that Hayachi was um, a Mii fighter, that yeah. made me second guess it. Sure. But I, I went with Lloyd because he was like, the Tail series was popular in Japan, and Lloyd did with Tales of Symphonia is very, like, synonymous with, like, Nintendo fans because it was a GameCube exclusive, so yeah, mm. that made sense. Then you went for Sora, which Sora. he got in. I don't know if you're aware, but he, he you got a point on that one. <laughs> well done. Yes, and everyone said he wouldn't make it in, but he did. I I'm so glad I didn't lose hope on him. And then last but not least, speaking of Square not losing hope, Gino. We did get two Square Enix reps in the past, but it wasn't exactly what I thought, because yeah. we got Sora, yes, but Gino, I seriously thought that was going to be the last one to end it on, because, you know, like, it was rumored to be in Brawl and then Smash Wii U and then Sakurai knows about Gino. Yeah. I, I thought after so many years he'd make it in but oh he's another me costume after in the Sephiroth presentation. Yeah. There's two meme choices that have been going around for years. It's Waluigi and it's Gino. They're the ones that have been percolating around Smash fandom for over a decade at this point. I'm, I'm shocked that Gino got in before Sora. I'll say that actually. Sorry. Other way round. Other way round. I'm shocked that, that Sora got in before Gino. Yeah. I also didn't exactly lose hope for Sora because at the time you were just like, oh, you set yourself up for disappointment. But I'm just like, he's not a me costume. There's still a chance. So my predictions, I'll just go one at a time here. So the first pick I said was Paper Mario. I'm still shocked that Paper Mario doesn't have more representation in Smash. I think it's a spirit fighter. I think, is it a spirit? I'm sure it must be a spirit, right? Yeah, he is a spirit. I can't remember what he was fighting with. Uh, yeah. Spirit. And then there's obviously the stage and the 3DS version. I thought that if they're going to pick another Mario character, they pick the Piranha Plant. Like, mm, why don't you pick Paper Mario? That's like I know it's another Mario, but we've got three links, so why can't we have three Marios? Piranha Plant is good. I do like Piranha Plant, but come on, Paper Mario, he's like the best other Mario you could have put in. Yeah. Um, it's also worth noting that the Origami King did have three spirits when it got released, so there's also that. Yeah, and then, so speaking of Nintendo properties, I also picked Chibi Robo, which, yeah, obviously Chibi Robo's bit is long forgotten now, whether or not we ever get anything Chibi Robo ever again, but yeah, maybe not the best pick if I had to like really think about the time like a Nintendo IP yeah let's just go for some obscure niche and also long dormant like of course it wasn't going to be Chibi Robo but uh, I think one day he should be in there the Nintendo reps we did get are Min Min and Pirate Mithra mm. I totally blame Ziplash for this so it's it's okay cool so they're both games from 2017 so that makes sense right they're, they're, they're relatively new at the time you know Xenoblade yeah. Chronicles 2 and and uh, ARMS so yeah I know Banjo got in but you know because he's still recognisable and stuff, but yeah. Chibi Robo, not a lot of people know who he is aside from the big Nintendo fans. I know who Chibi Robo is because I'm a big Nintendo fan. I've never played a Chibi Robo game. So there you go, like that says it all. Yeah, yeah that pretty much. I'm so far... Zero for two. Third pick, I went for Klonoa. This was... I, I I wanted to go for, like, a really obscure, like, out there character. Again, we went Nam... I thought, like, oh, companies, Namco. Uh, let's get a Namco rep. Why I didn't think Tekken, I don't know. I just went, uh, Klonoa. Like, yeah, sure, that would make sense in Smash Brothers. Klonoa, visually, artistically, and even, like, moveset-wise, would make so much sense in Smash. The difference is, Klonoa, like Chibi Robo, is a dormant franchise that no one gives a fuck about anymore. Or at least the companies don't give a fuck about. Namco don't care about Klonoa anymore. So... <laughs> <laughs> That's a shame. I mean, we got Kazuya as the rep, at least. Yes. Yeah, so yeah, of course. So we, we got we got we did get Namco, Namco rep, but I just went for the wrong franchise. Uh, so zero <laughs> for three. Number four, I picked Rillaboom. Uh, I went for what I thought was going to be this pack's version of Byleth, which was another Fire Emblem character, another Pokemon character, and it's yeah. fresh in people's minds. I was like, okay, the new gen's out. What Pokemon do I pick? I went Rillaboom because it would be cool as a fighter, right? Probably Cinderace would would have been a better pick. Either way, I, in my mind, I thought a Gen 8 Pokemon was sure to be here. Uh, no. 
<laughs> not at all. Yeah, like, I think um, after Byler's inclusion, where we all expect it to be a mind-blowing, you know, third-party character like Sora, you know, like, after Banjo and, you know, Joker, these great third-party reveals, then we just got another Fire Emblem character, so we kind of got a little bit pessimistic yeah. moving forward, thinking, oh, they're just going to end it on another disappointment. You know, we didn't get that at all, like, at least I didn't think we did. No. So, zero for four. Can I make it zero for five? Yes, I can. I said Travis touchdown, and he didn't get in, but he did get a me fighter costume so maybe maybe mm, no i don't get any points so zero for five Ooh. maybe a half do i get a half because travis touchdown did come in fighter pack two but just as a, as a me fighter which oh my god i was so happy and so disappointed i was like yes travis is in smash but not how I wanted him. I'm still happy that he's at least acknowledged. When he got us a V costume, I was just like, ooh, this is gonna sting, Dad. Uh, the outcome of Travis was exactly the outcome I was expecting for Sora. He was just gonna end up as a V costume because, you know, Disney wouldn't let him in, but son of a bitch, he did oh, it. Oh, if Sora was ever gonna have any representation or Kingdom Hearts, it had to be just as a, uh, a main character. There's no way he was gonna be a, a Mii fighter costume. I feel like for Travis, for No More Heroes fans, is a bit like Super Mario RPG fans seeing Gino as a Mii fighter costume again it's like oh i guess he's in here at least again but he's not a fighter so, uh. but hey mm. like i say i'm still happy that he's in there i wanted him as a fighter but a little bit like uh, i think i was gonna say a little bit like doom guy would he make sense but then i think that he's on the same level as bayonetta because i think he could still work with a move set i think it'd be interesting you know having to keep charging your uh, beam katana like you know if when it, run, when it runs when it runs yeah out. of course but that would be a bit suggestive so maybe they would have to change that slightly i'm sure i spoke about that in the video at the time but yeah anyway that's the end of it alex you win by two points <laughs> basically you got one and a half or two and i got zero or maybe a half Maybe, yeah. maybe half. And do you really count the first fighters pass? Holy shit. Four out of five of my wanted characters made it. Yeah, so like, if we want to go, because we did again our predictions for DLC pack one. Uh, Yeah, you got four out of five. You said um, Rex and Pyra again. You said Banjo. You said a Fire Emblem character, which we got Byleth. And then you said Sora, which eventually we got Sora as well. Yeah. I did better as well in that original one, because I said Fire Emblem character, Banjo, Kazooie. And I said Sora. I said Sora in the first DLC pack. Yeah. I should have stuck to my guns and predicted him again in, the, in pack two but <laughs> bloody didn't instead i went for bloody klonoa why did i go klonoa it no sense. <laughs> like honestly like i really hate to be like brag about it but i'm just like i told you so you know that Sora would do this you know when you made a clip of me saying i don't want steve in smash Bros. <laughs> i'm gonna do that to you now with you so was not gonna make it there is definitely a clip i think in the, when we spoke about pack two, I'm sure I said somewhere along in there, like, yeah, Sora's not going to come in, so that's why I'm not picking him this time. Yeah, I'm going to do exactly that now, because you did that with me and Steve. Now we're even. Yeah, who are you going to edit at the beginning of this video of, like, me yes. saying Sora's like, <laughs> Hell yes, oh, I am. Oh, God, of course you are. I'm, I'm interested. I'm not going to look it up. I'm interested to see exactly what I said now. Oh, <laughs> yes, God. it's going to be a fun one to edit. Oh, okay, well, look, look forward to that. And speaking of looking forward to stuff, what we're going to do is when Sora does eventually come out, which is, uh, was it? like the 14th of October or something like that, whenever the release date is. The 19th of October. Okay, when he comes out, Alex and I will play as, you know, the Sora, and after then, we will rank all 12 DLC characters individually, and it'll be based on the character choice, the reveal, and how they play. And it's all those combined, and then into our own ranking. So, look forward to that in a couple of weeks' time, when we eventually do that, and uh, hopefully before then, we will also be doing a current conversation on Metroid Dread, because uh, that game's out pretty damn soon. Maybe even uh, it's out now by the time you listen to this. Who knows? And we're going to do a review discussion and probably spoiler discussion as well, like in the second half of that video. So yeah, look forward to that. Uh, October's going to be a packed month, honestly. Yeah, it will be. There's a lot of videos. And me breaking down over Sora is just the start of it. <laughs> well, until then, Alex, thank you for joining me. Yes, yeah, you're welcome. We'll see you all on the flip side in a couple of weeks. See you on the flip side. Let's go.